The Icelanders share their countryside with many gentle creatures, but the ubiquitous sheep, nearly five for every Icelander, are part of every rural scene. Each day brings a new surprise. Waterfalls, the largest in Europe, everywhere. Cold, rushing water from melting ice. Hot, rushing water from below the Earth's surface, some only an hour or two from Reykjavik. much running water that Iceland has tapped only a small percentage of it for electricity. So much and so cheap that there is talk one day of beaming Icelandic electricity to the United States via satellite. Outlandish? Well, perhaps it was once outlandish for Icelanders to brave the seas when their only power was the wind and the oar. One named Leif Erikson and a crew of 35 sailed westward and found a land he called Vinland, or Wineland, and which we now call America, 500 years before Columbus. This is Iceland's national cemetery. The only two national heroes singled out to be buried here are poets. That says a lot about the country and its people. The country's contribution to world literature is renowned. The Eddas, the sagas of Icelandic heroes. This is the home of Iceland's president. No guards, no guns just his friendly dog. Iceland's president today is Christian Elgjaren. He is not a professional politician. He is an archaeologist and was a museum director. Here in his home in his spare time, he pursues his study. Iceland's most valuable resource, its people. Their faces stamped with their Viking and Celtic beginnings. Theirs is a free and classless society, as much a family as a nation. So important is the individual that a woman carries her own name through marriage. Each child receives his father's first name, plus the suffix, son or daughter, that becomes his new family name. Thus, every child becomes his own person at birth. Every new family name is posted on the mailbox. It makes it a little tough on the mailman. Children take on the role of citizen early in life, the responsibilities, the duties, the work, and the work can be hard. But Icelanders play hard too. They may very well have invented the weekend. Every weekend is like New Year's Eve. It's another of Iceland's great melting pots for doctor, fisherman, tourist, farmer, or lawyer. Every Icelander you meet, you meet on first name basis, which can cause some confusion when you try to find them again. In the Icelandic phone book, which lists everyone by their first name first. Elizabeth, uh, who? From dusk on Friday till Sunday night, Iceland, or most of it, is out on the town. A nation that acts like a family in many ways. Here, 
beauty lives so close to violence. To the Icelander, the earth he loves is a threat. As often as every five years, without warning, the gates of hell erupt. So the people of Hema A in the Westman Islands, only 30 minutes by air from Reykjavik, were tossed from their beds in January 1973. Even this seal swam about in confusion as the lava threatened to block the harbor entrance. But the resourceful Icelanders, as they always have, rallied. The whole nation, they pumped seawater onto the molten earth. The lava was stopped in its track. The harbor remained open. Miraculously, no one was hurt during the five months holocaust. Hema A's link to the sea was saved. This is Hema A today. A third of the town was lost. Life is back to normal. The puffin birds, prized as game and as beauty, have returned to the cliffs and the harbor. The volcano is still now. It is safe to climb to the crater. Iceland has been given the gift of new land again. The lava line. This house escaped the lava flow. Here, the Icelanders are busy grading the slopes, taming the land that is still hot enough to warm your hands on. It will remain like this for centuries, a steaming reminder of the fury of creation. visitor can take time now to marvel at how nature created a church out of lava, high above the surviving church of the town. The steaming earth of this modern Pompeii has a dramatic poetry of its own. But again, the Icelanders have the last laugh. They pump seawater into the hot lava and pump out hot water to heat the town. The youngsters of Hema A heap hay onto the new earth to make it fertile. One more small chapter in the Icelander's unending struggle with his land. This then is the saga of Iceland. That life is indomitable. That flowers grow within steps of nature's brutality. That nature asks only the best of man his courage, his love, and his unbreakable spirit.